But the thing that I like about church is, um, well, the where where I go now, um, it's just the vibe, the the invite, uh, the welcoming, and plus they always talk um about family, right? Yeah, like true, they're not here now, but we will meet again right. after this life. So yeah. I'm just gonna pick his brain a little bit. Yeah. Um, it's the Church of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so. Why is Jesus Christ important to you? Um, okay. Because um, he suffered for us pretty much. And true, I've been through a lot, but he's been through a lot worse. Right. And so he knows what I'm feeling, what uh, times that I'm down. And there'll be times that I think I'll be alone, but he he's there. Right. He, you'll just... In a very interesting way, so he'll show you that he's there. I was gonna yeah. pick on you a little bit. That's you know, fine. Yeah, yeah. Continue to talk about yeah. this stuff. Not so good. Want to talk. Um, so let's say I'm gonna argue with you on this. Okay. I believe in God. I don't mm. believe in religion. Mm. Oh, I, I also don't before. think that there is a necessity. I don't think we need a savior of sorts. Mm -hmm. No. Oh man, I wish you asked me that question ten years ago when I was on the mission. Um, well, that question still exists. Yeah, that question is everywhere. Like so, I, I heard even people saying, "Oh, I believe in God, not in the devil." So, right. yeah, but no, it's true. Like your question is, you believe in God, but you don't believe in Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So I believe in God, but like, I don't need a church. I don't need a savior. My God created this planet. Exactly. Here I am. I'm enjoying good times. I don't know what the plan is. I don't know what's going on, but like. Um, here I am. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, convince me that, that I need a religion. Uh, okay. So, true, you don't, let's see. True, you don't believe in Jesus, but Jesus still believes in you because he knows what you've been going through. He knows, he knows you by name and whatever you're feeling, he, he, he pretty much knows you like, like a book pretty much. And I know you need, like, you don't believe in religion, but. No, it's just, uh, just so the yeah, yeah. No, It's I just, do. it's just, he, do. he does, yeah. I'm just being the. the, the, the just point answering point. the question. I'm just answering Go the question. I feel, I feel <laughs> dirty on this side of the argument. That's <laughs> <laughs> too many times. Uh, so go on. Go yeah, on. It, it's been a while. So I'm rusty, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. Well, I usually say to people, like, I'm not, like, telling you what to do. I'm just saying, I'm in, sending you an invite, invite to see to your like yourself if, what do you think like no here's judgment or anything here's the deal. let's say i read the bible mm -hmm. or most people say they read the bible 1500 pages most people have not read the bible but <laughs> let's say i read the bible mm -hmm. and, and i read the story of jesus it was a feel-good story mm -hmm. but in my mind i'm like this could have been a made-up story this could have been a, a history of someone that they stretched the truth on this history. Oh, that's so, the first time I heard that one. So at the end of the day, convince me why I should believe in Jesus. Like, like, like seriously. Yeah, like, you just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but it's good. That's, that's, that's good stuff right there. there. So convince me why. Why, if if I don't believe the story, I didn't, I don't have like any like tie to it. I don't have any family reasons to be mm -hmm. involved in the story. I don't have any um, religious social pressure. It's just like, I mean, people keep talking about this Jesus guy, mm -hmm. but why? But why? So. You can say. <laughs> But yet, true God sent his his son Jesus to the to his well, to his world. Yeah, yeah. He was God's son. Yeah, yeah. And he also performed um, miracles that um, not a lot of people believed until they went to go see. And then that pretty much changed. But that's what the book says. Yeah, true. And I don't know what the book says is true. It could be a story. You can you can meditate by praying to know if it's true. Like it, it might be not right away, but you will feel, you will feel an answer. It could be 
not what you expect, but it will you'll know it once you see it because it won't probably be right away, but once you know that feeling of warmth and what your question is true or not, that's pretty much your answer. It's pretty much you just gotta believe and pray well, about it. You yeah. Do you believe in in Christ as a savior? Yeah. Like does it seem like a good idea to maybe just have a just a God and not need a savior? Can you repeat that question again? Okay, so yeah. so there's two options here mm -hmm. on the table. If you go down one belief, a lot of religions just believe in a God. Yeah. Right? Christian believes in a God plus a Savior. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be easier to just believe in a, a God and not a God and a Savior. Uh, for some people, I can see that your point right there. Um, for me, I know God and the Savior Jesus Christ as his son. So when once I heard that, I'm like, Okay, that's his personal son that he sent down here. In true, in the beginning, he did incredible things, but in the end, we well, like you know, we we killed him pretty much. He didn't. He didn't. Um, once we know that resurrection is ha can happen because we can, we know that God loves His Son like any father will love His Son. So, or like you have kids and you love them so much. So it's going to be hard for you to see people um, hurt them, pretty much. But in other words, I believe like there is a God and there's a Jesus. That's His Son. Okay, and, so yeah. I want to just give this one. You believe that there is a God. Yeah. You believe that God had a Son. Yeah. And then what? He'd send His Son to pretty much preach His His word. In, I mean, yeah, is, yeah, like it's. I believe it's, it too. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm no, sure. no, I know, I know. You're doing, you're, you're doing a very well job. It's just I haven't done something like this right, for so but, long. But yeah. I'm listening to you yeah. this. In yeah. my mind, as I'm listening to this, I'm like, yeah, I, I believe that God has a son. Like in the end, I believe that God's son came to this earth. In the end, it's pretty much on prayer and faith, and see. Well, so, yeah. So one thing, the reason I asked, do you want? God have a son. You want there to be a savior, so that goes into hope, mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah, you yeah. want it. And the reason I asked it like that is because we could have just a God, and I and I, I love the idea of there being a God. Mm -hmm. I also want there to be a God and a son, mm -hmm. and I want that. The reason I want that is because that son becomes my savior. And why do I want a savior? Mm -hmm. Because this God created me, but I'm not qualified to be in his presence. Because I'm, I'm full of sin and I'm full of imperfection. Mm -hmm. So I don't see how that God is just making, like, say, maybe like a playground for us. Mm -hmm. I think that yeah. God created an earth. Yeah. This earth was created for a purpose. The purpose was to try and to test us. Yes, yeah. And, and now that we've been tried and tested, I know I failed. Mm -hmm. So I want God to provide a way for me to return to live with him. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. And that son is the one that, I, that, that answers that question. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, if God sent his son and his son suffered for our sins, now I have a, an option. The option is that son paid the price for me as he suffered in the Garden of Gethsemane, as he hung on the cross. Um, now here I can look to that son, mm -hmm. and if I tie myself to him through, we talked about baptism earlier, mm -hmm. now I can, on Christ's name, qualify myself to return to live with that God as well. But it's only through him... Yeah. Because I know my perfect God, the God mm -hmm. who has power over all things. Yeah. I'm not qualified to be with, around, or near, near yeah. in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. I need a Savior. Anyway. That's true. No, I, that's 
That's really true. That's straight up and true. That's, and that's kind of why I pose the questions the way that I pose them. That's yeah. why I ask them the way that I ask them. So once again, I, I, I hope I'm not coming off as like shoving religion down people's um, throats. Where, where I hope I'm coming across is just opening this box of if you don't believe in a God, do you want one? If you want a God, you can have one mm -hmm. in your mind. And you might be thinking to yourself, like, well, that God only exists in my mind. That God doesn't really exist. But if you want a God, and you tell yourself, like, I want one. I want to know if there is one. Then you can find out if there is a God. Yeah. And if you mm -hmm. want a God, and you live as if there is a God, I promise there will come a day where God will show you that he does exist. True. It that is happen. true. It will absolutely happen. Not the way you expected it, but it's more like a surprise. Absolutely. Yeah. So now that I know that God exists, um, I also can't help but think that if he's perfect and created everything as we know it, heaven's in the earth, mm -hmm. I'm not fit to be in his presence. Like when I die, what's going to happen? I, yeah. I, I, I think I want a savior. True. I want yeah. someone to save me from my sins qualify me to live and be in the presence of that almighty perfect God. Mm. I want a God. Mm. I want to save you. But that doesn't mean they exist. That's just a, a happy feel good thought where it's like I'd love it if there was a God. I'd love it if there was a Savior. I'd love it if there was a way that I could have faith and trust in them to return to live with them. And I'd love it if they could provide an eternal and kind of happiness for me. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. So now that I want that, what does that want turn into? That want turns into actions. I want those things. Mm -hmm. That turns into actions. When my want for a God and a Savior turns into actions, what is that called? Um, James, one. Oh, man. Um, faith. Sorry. It's called Oof. faith. See, I am perfect, so I didn't even know. <laughs> so when you're when you so hope leads to faith, right? Mm -hmm. If you want something so bad that you're willing to act on that thing, now you're exercising faith in that thing. We want there to be God. I've concluded I want there to be God. I've now concluded also I think I want there to be Savior. I've now concluded well, in order to show appreciation to that God and Savior that I that I hope they exist, I'm going to talk about them. I'm going to um, help others and serve others. I'm going to do things to show that God, that God and that Savior. They're like, hey, I want to be a part of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So, what's up? Yeah. Right a podcast right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. So, all of a sudden. I got this one, I got this hope. Those are turning into actions. Mm -hmm. Those yeah. actions constitute faith. And then this is the last thing I'm going to say. And then I'll let you talk and we can end this thing. <laughs> Those actions turn into faith. Those actions that turn into faith turn into miracles. Yeah. And once you start to see miracles unfold in your life, mm -hmm. now it's hard to deny the fact that there's a creator. That's true. It's hard to deny the fact that there's a savior because you've seen miracles that tie into those things mm -hmm. and now you then become you then become convinced on these truths so anyway Josue, i'll let you take it away no 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 <laughs> I, i'm disagreeing everything because it's it's pretty much true because when you say that i'm just like same time the flashbacks like what i have to be in through the hope the faith in the actions in what lead me like where I'm at now. Like I'm grateful, you know, I I thought I wasn't gonna be moving anymore, but here I am and I'm grateful of meeting you in Fight City, you know, helping me help me lose all this weight and I like I feel better for myself. Like I still need a lot of work, but but I'm I'm glad where I'm heading. Good. And you know, thank you, Eric. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you as host yeah. host way. <laughs> That was an intense one. Yeah. Thank you for being a part of this. No, thank you. Mm -hmm.